Okay, guys, this is my front door. I'm not going to show you that sign because it has our last name on it, and I'm not ready to share that on YouTube, but this is my welcome mat, and this is my front door and my wreath that I made. And I have this cute little sign that a friend had made for me. It says, please do not knock or ring the bell. It upsets the dog, which upsets the baby, which upsets the mom. And nobody listens to it. <laughs> but it's cute. So let's just go in. So when you walk in, our stairs are right here. And this is our main living room. It's two stories. Uh, let's see. We just have minis chilling over here and some of our pictures. And this is my dog Oscar who passed away in October. I still miss him every day. I had him since I was 19. And that's my sister on her wedding day. And I don't know if you can see, but that's a picture of me and my husband and Madeline when he came back from one of his deployments. And I, if you follow me on Instagram, I think you've seen this picture. And this picture was taken when he came back from his last deployment. I just love this picture. This is so raw and real, guys. Like, that's raw emotion. Bless her heart. She was so excited to see him. Anyways, um, I got the shelf from Target. They have a bunch of different colors. You'll see I have another one upstairs. And I got the lantern from Kirkland's, and that tray is from Kirkland's. This is a Cincy. I think it's the birdcage one. And I'm just burning a vanilla bean marshmallow from Bath & Body Works. And if you're wondering what that is, that's our security camera. And I got the I Love Us from Hobby Lobby, the Bee from Hobby Lobby. And that was either Hobby Lobby or Kirkland's. And I come on over here. I got the lanterns from either Hobby Lobby or Kirkland's. I pretty much shop Target, Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's. <laughs> so if I don't mention where something's from, it's probably from there. So I've got Oscar and then this little bunny that Maddie made for me sitting on Oscar's remains. And then I'm bringing this candle from TJ Maxx that I don't really recommend. Coconut something. It doesn't really smell, but it's pretty burning anyways. And these were some old, they were gold, but I spray painted them this color a few years back. And there's just one little end table. My lamp, I don't know, you can't really see. There we go. My lamp is from Walmart. The shade and the lamp base are both from Walmart. And a friend gave me this tray. I believe it's from Kirkland's. I love it though, it's so cute just our couch and my husband built me this table it's an Anna white or Anna white design from Pinterest if you're interested I'll link it below where we got the plans from it cost us a hundred dollars to build but it would have cost less if we would have had some of this the tools that he needed but I love this table it's like my favorite piece of furniture in this house not only because he built it but I just think it's so pretty he built it and I painted it and stained it. And um, I had somebody build this shelf for me and then I just painted it white and that has toys in it. And I got that from probably Hobby Lobby. And then I got that from Target and my husband hangs all his hats and his keys and all his junk in there. And then the girls and I made him for Father's Day a couple of years ago this um, picture frame that says daddy. I can hear Tucker outside wanting in. <laughs> and then this is the dining area. It's a table and I have a question you guys. So you can probably see here how it's got like this residue film. I used something on it years ago and ruined it and I've tried everything from toothpaste, mayonnaise, oils, and I can't get back the finish. So if anyone knows what you can do to revive that, let me know, please. But I love my table other than the fact that I ruined it. Leave it to me to ruin something. 
And I got this little stand at um, Kirkland's. I love it. I got it on a major sale too, so I was pretty proud of myself. <laughs> and kitchen, you guys have seen a bunch of my kitchen. I've had a few people ask where I got the canisters. I got those from um, Kirkland's. And I love my sweet tea sign, Southern Belle Signs. She's on Instagram. I'll have a link in the down bar so you can check out her shop, but she makes really, really cute farmhouse stuff. She has an Etsy shop as well. But anyways, she sent me this and I absolutely love it. And then we have this sign here that says, in this house we do dog tags, we do patriotic, we do distance, we do last minute. We have fun, we do deployments, we do really loud, we do hugs, we do Skype, we do mistakes, we do brave, we do real, we do love, we are blessed. And I had that made from someone local. Anyways, I'm not gonna go into detail in that corner over there because it's honestly, it's like a printer and then I have like a filing box with like our bills and stuff and it's messy, I need to organize it. Here's the kitchen. And somebody was asking in my kitchen cleaning routine. This is a Cincy. Oh, this is nice. I have no idea what this is. My husband brought it home and set it on the counter. <laughs> but this is a Cincy um, warmer. It's the little vintage toaster, I think is what it's called. It's so cute. I love it so much. And if you haven't bought Cincy in a while, they don't have removable trays anymore. They, they, um... I remember they used to have like where you could remove the tray and like I don't know for whatever reason but now they don't it's interesting I don't know I like the way that they build them now and here's my little stand that I got from the dollar stand at Target or the bullseye section I guess with my Miss Myers stuff and that's our backyard see the girls play set and mama's wine because we got to have wine and we bought this thing at Lowe's and my husband just screwed it up under the cabinets okay so this is just our half bath downstairs for our guest it's just got a toilet <laughs> and a sink not much to it. And then down this hallway is the garage. I'm not going to show you in there. And that's a laundry room. Trust me, you don't want to see in there. And this is our room. And I have this sign that says, Your wings were ready, but my heart was not. And that has a lot of meaning to us. And then... You've seen in here also, I've done a bunch of cleaning routines, but this is my husband's side of the bed. And I have had those that C and that J for years and they were black, but I just spray painted them white. And then both of these quilts are from Kirkland's. I, ha I cannot decide on bedding. I have curtains that I love, but I can't, they're, since they're so busy patterned, you can't, it's hard to find bedding. Let's see. It's hard to find bedding that will not clash with them, so right now I just have this going on. But anyways, this is my nightstand, the picture of my husband and us. That was taken years ago. And then I just have these books here, 100 Ways to Love Your Husband and The Five Love Languages. This is a really, really, really good book. I think it's a good way to live life by. If you have not read The Five Love Languages, you definitely need to. It's a really, really good book. And then I have way too much stuff on my dresser. Hi. But I don't spend a lot of time in here. I don't um, really think much about anything in here. Just kind of, it is what it is. That's my grandpa's flag that I got from his funeral. And then, <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, I've had a cold, so we have this little dude out over here that just mostly has junk. I hide the girls' presents in here for like Christmas and Easter and that stuff. They go in that bottom drawer until it's time to be wrapped. 
and um, I guess I'll show you our closet. I did recently clean it out in here. Now, it's nothing too fancy, but for me, this is pretty organized. <laughs> There's all my handbags and my long sleeve tops and my short sleeve tops. And then my husband's side is pretty organized for him anyways. And then that's all of his military stuff down there. And this is Oscar's blanket that he actually passed away in. So I keep it here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I just keep it here for now. So that's my closet. And then we have this dresser, which is my husband's. He puts all his clothes in. And it's got a bunch of my, like, jewelry and stuff in it. It's kind of dark. I'm sorry if you can't really see, guys. This is, has, like, earrings and um, bracelets, I think. And then there's that picture of us. I need to get hung up, but I just haven't done it. And this little picture of us. And I have my scarves hanging on that thing, which I need to move because the door won't close or it won't stay open that way. And I'm not going to go too in detail in, in our bathroom because, to be honest with you, it's kind of a mess. I need to go through and organize in here. But here you get the idea. It's the bathtub and the toilet and the shower and these are our sinks. But yeah, I need to definitely do some organizing in there. So that's that. Now we're going to go upstairs. Oh, I got to show you behind the door. So behind the door here, I just have, I had that made, um, custom made, you know, so it would fit here. And then um, we just keep our coats and Maddie's backpack and our shoes right there. And I just have a basket for... Um, dog leashes and stuff and then our hats and gloves go here and then I don't know if I showed you this wall so I'm gonna that's what that looks like from back here and these are our most recent family pictures that we had taken this fall and those are her one year Kinsley's one year then our family photo I love that picture then another family photo. And then just the girls. Anyways, and I'll show you the view from up here. This is my favorite part of the house. I love looking down here when it's clean. Oh, and I have that shelf there too. I'd never really done much with it, so it's just that. <laughs> And then three more steps and I will show you our family room first so this is our family room we spend a lot of time up here as you can see this is where I do my editing and I keep my lights and stuff right there for now that's going to change but for now that's where those are at and um, let's see we've got Kinsey's little writing desk here and then the sign that says enjoy the little things in life for someday you will realize they were the big things. I got that at Hobby Lobby. And then I got this little cube shelf at Walmart. And the bins I got in it are from Walmart as well. And then I had got this table from a yard sale and I painted it. I actually got that lantern from a yard sale as well. And that's from Kirkland's and that's from Kirkland's. And here is our couch and our rug. I got the rug off Amazon. If you guys are looking for area rugs, Amazon's the place to go. They've got so many and they're at such a good price. And this is super high quality. It's a really, really nice rug. And I got these little pillows from the dollar or the bullseye, I guess it's called now, at Target. I love them. They're so cute. And anyways, this is my big window that I normally film in front of. <laughs> I love that window. And then I'm not gonna show over here just because it kind of gives away a little too much information. So um, this is a treadmill that you can see I use every single day. <laughs> just kidding. 
Um, yeah, I need to use this bad boy, but for now it's just propped up in the corner like that. And here is my desk. I actually traded this desk with a friend years ago, like probably, oh, seven years ago, maybe eight. And it was black and I just recently had it refinished. And I absolutely love the way that it turned out. And I got this stuff, most of the stuff at like the bullseye, this was bullseye spot at um, Target. And um, that was the at Target for three bucks. And this stuff was all just stuff I've had for years. And my notebooks are from TJ Maxx. But yes, I love this. The spot is my favorite place in the house right now. And now over to chaos. <laughs> this is the kids' toys. I'm going to back up and let you get like the whole picture. Like seriously, <laughs> my kids, this is an all. Guys, I have toys downstairs. They each have toys in their room, and I just went through them. It And there's some in the attic. It's too much. It's too much. I know. It's too much. I have a hard time getting rid of toys, though, because they are so spaced in age. And I know that, like, uh, when Kinsley is older, she will like them. And so, you know, in order to save money, I just kind of put them up so she can play with them when she gets older. But um, this is my collage wall. We've got the girls and Kinsley. And I have that shadow box. Nothing's in it yet, but my plans are to put Oscar's collar and his name tag and his picture and his paw print in there. And then, yeah. So as far as their toys go, they are organized. It's organized chaos. They're as organized as you can get anyways. But I have like CDs in there. This is like pretend play. That's Barbies. Um, this is Polly Pocket Houses. And this is all like cars. So they're all organized by what they are. But there's just too many of them. Uh, and then that, ugh, I hate this. But it is what it is. These are all like the big toys that won't fit in a basket. But yeah, this is their toys. And that's how I have it organized for now anyways. And I'm sure somebody is going to wonder or ask or comment on it. Those um, cubes are anchored to the wall. Absolutely, definitely. I told my husband as soon as we put them up, I said, you've got to anchor them to the wall. I, I cannot... I can't even imagine them falling on Kinsley and she would be the child that would climb up them. So they are absolutely anchored to the wall. So do not worry. So we go up here and this is the girl's bathroom. Oh, Maddie's little body sprays. She doesn't wear them all the time, guys. Just every once in a while, she'll have a splash of body spray. And then... We walk. It's just a closet, and then this is Kinsley's room. Um, when I painted this room when I was pregnant, it came out way darker gray than I had wanted it to. But as you can imagine, being pregnant when I was done, I was like, "Well, you know, we'll just change it when she gets bigger." And that's what's going to have to happen because I'm not all about painting. I hate painting, but it's not terrible. I just wanted it to be a lighter gray. So her her um, changing table was Madeline's. We got that at Walmart. It's cheap and it's a piece of crap, but it's got me through two kids who are, by the way, seven and a half years apart. So you can't really beat that. And this is from um, Target. And it's just got her books on it and her bows. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she has enough bows, guys. There's more over here. <laughs> But anyways, um, I had this made to match her blanket and, um, I bought this at a yard sale when Maddie was a baby. I think I paid 20 bucks for it and I shoved it in the back seat of my car and I've had it. So let's see, Maddie was a baby. So I've had it for eight years. And then this is also Maddie's crib and it still has her little teething marks on it. I don't know if you can see where she chewed. But it's now Kinsley's, and it does convert to a toddler bed, but I think we're just going to go ahead and buy her her big girl furniture. 
and um, the poof balls. I made those and I made that banner for her first birthday. A lot of this is her first birthday decor. I just saved it for her room. But yeah, those banners are really easy to make. And I got this dresser also when Maddie was a baby for $10 at a yard sale. <laughs> and I painted it brown for Maddie because when she was a baby, her room was um, brown and pink polka dots. But now we're into the mint, so I just chalk painted this this pretty mint color. And um, this was Kinsley's bassinet when she was a baby, and I have both girls' bassinets in their rooms. I have both girls' bassinets in their rooms. I don't know. I just have to hold on to some things, but they usually put their baby dolls in there right now. It looks like they've thrown some toys in there. but. And then my mom has gotten each girl's a rocking chair. This is the rocking chair she got for Kinsley. So that's Kinsley's room. And then this is just our hallway. This is kind of like leftover decor from what my house used to be decorated in. Um, and I don't hate it. I'm not knocking it. There's nothing against this kind of decor. I've just changed my taste. So eventually I would like to kind of change this area up, but for now, this is just how it looks. And then got this little picture of Kinsley and Madeline and Oscar boy and Tucker. And that's Oscar's little collar and his little tag. And this is our guest room. I'm not going to open the door in there because right now it is serving as a storage room from Christmas. We've just not gone in there and cleaned it out, and I really need to do that. And then here is Madeline's room. We just redid in here. She had horses, um, and she wanted something more big girl, and she's into, like, dream catchers and the fringe and all that kind of stuff, so... Santa Claus brought her those two pictures and we've picked up some things over time and then a couple of weekends ago we went and redid everything and anything you see in here that's coral I spray painted except for that but um it, the stuff in here was either pink or green or something but I spray painted a lot of stuff to make it match so this is her bassinet now this was my husband's bassinet when he was a baby and it was handed down to us and when we brought her home we put her in it for about 30 minutes and neither one of us could sleep because we didn't trust it so she never actually used this bassinet but technically it was hers so and it was my husband so I keep it in here for her to keep all her stuffed animals and then she painted her little jewelry box it was a bunch of different colors <laughs> Uh, I spray painted that friend's frame, and then I made this uh, fabric banner thing for her, and then the little hearts are from the bullseye spot from Valentine's Day, and then the same with those. They were on there as well, and they light up, and then her comforter is from Target, and I spray painted that, and that. It was pink. I think that was green. That's from Hobby Lobby. Oh, her curtains are from Target. I spray painted all of those. Every Everything up there except for that I spray painted. I'm not sure when this quit recording. But anyways, everything up here I spray painted except for that. Um, this is so easy to make. I bought the, in, the um, initials. Is that what you call it? Her monogram. Which was really, really expensive. <laughs> but I just spray painted the frame because I couldn't find a frame the size I wanted. And then that's just material. So I just covered the backing that came in the frame with that and stuck that in there. And I've actually spray painted that the first time. I think we had it pink and I just spray painted it coral. So that's her above her bed stuff. And actually, the Live Laugh Love was given to me as a Christmas gift and it came black. And I had them spray painted pink and blue from her decor prior, but I've just re-spray re painted them again to match now. And then we got this little dream catcher at some place in the mall. I don't know. I love it. It's so cute. And then this is her uh, bookshelf. And 
Let's see if Whiskers is in here. Wake up, little buddy. This is her hamster, Whiskers. He's sleeping, though. She got him for Christmas two years ago. And, yeah. Oh, she had this... My cousin made her this bow holder. So there's some more bows. And there's more bows in the bathroom I didn't show you. <laughs> That's Maddie's room. So yeah, guys, that's my house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's a lot of things that I don't have the way I exactly want them to be, but honestly, I don't think we ever have things the way we want them to be. By the time we get one thing done and get back to it, we want to change it. So, so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I love you. Bye.